Okay, so this is going to be your Freytag's triangle, and this is what we started talking about yesterday. What I want you to do is take that diagram that you started to make, your scalene triangle, okay? And you can sort of think of these as arrows, like one going up here, right, and one going down here, right? And then um, this actual arrow, this will be an arrow too. And it's because, of course, this is just going to tie everything up. And this is what um, Aristotle was talking about with that unity of action. Okay, so this sort of, if you say, comes around full circle. Oh, you see that there? Okay. So, now, the, be the beginning is going to include the beginning, right? This is our um, incent incentive moment, right? Incentive moment. This is where our causes are stressed. Causes stressed, right? Because we're, co we're stressing the causes because what happens with the cause, you get an effect and that's gonna launch us into the action, okay? So that's our beginning. Our complication is gonna become the problem that needs to be solved, right? also called the rising action. Okay, and here's where we're still focusing on this, you know, like this cause and effect is happening up here. Now we get up to this climax, right? And in here in this climax, this is where we have both the causes and the effects stressed, okay? This is where we're going to have the um, peripatia, that reversal of fortune. Where the tides turn for our character, okay? Climax you can also think of as the middle, right? beginning, middle, end. Now, even though we're saying that the beginning, where the incentive moment is with the clauses being stressed, is a much longer ride than where, where we're saying the middle is, because the end comes quite quickly in a play, you don't want to have an audience hanging around and waiting for the play to end, you know, if you've already hit the major climactic moment, right? You've already gotten that um, peak turn, okay? Um, this is Peripatia. That looks like an arm, sorry. Peripatia, that's an eye. Okay, Peripatia. Um, this is going to have the causes and the effects stressed. You wanna have that in your notes. Okay, and here, of course, we have this falling action. Okay, and as we're having that falling action and we're having that sort of clarity that comes with seeing that turn and riding that motion going down, that's the moment of realization, that's the anagnorisis of the protagonist. So in here, this, like we said in our notes, our peripatia is going to anagnorisis, is going to sort of launch or stimulate the anagnorisis or that moment of realization, that moment of clarity that our tragic hero has to experience. And then we have our end, our resolution. Okay, and, and our resolution 
our causes are stressed, right? Because of the anagnorisis of the main character. This moment of realization, right, makes the character go, oh, yeah, I get that now. Oh, you ever have something become very clear when you finally think about it and you see the outcome of something and then you look back and you go, oh, that's why that guy said that thing to the other character. Oh, that's why this happened and that happened. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. All of a sudden everything becomes clear um, and you almost want to go back and watch it again, which is why people go to Greek theater. That's which is why people in, in Greek in Greece went to the theater in the first place is because it was helping us to see things in hindsight with the clarity, with the dramatization, with all of the pieces that make drama, that make tragedy what it is. It helps us to see things more clearly. I know there were a lot of jokes in the new year because it was 2020 and hindsight's 2020. Well, this is a really good time to be doing this play because we're going to see how a tragic hero like Oedipus comes full circle and realizes, this arrow going back, realizes you know, everything that had brought him to this tragic downfall. Okay, so this is Freytag's triangle. And this is an example of our plot with unity of action. Any questions? I'm just kidding, I'm not there, but Ms. Robertson is. So if you guys have any questions, please direct them to Ms. Robertson. Have a great day.